Okay, and welcome everyone to my video on the Hayes and Williams equation. Now, the Hayes and Williams equation is typically used for water in pressurized pipe. So, pipe flowing full with water that is pressurized. Water in pressurized pipe. It is a very common formula, and it is very common uh, method. It is a very common method in in water distribution systems to um, calculate the head loss or the pressure loss due to friction. Okay, so really what I should do here is I should really put in F because it is friction. Okay, you cannot use this equation to calculate minor losses. It is only used to calculate friction losses. Now what I'd like to do before we do an example is to go down through each parameter so you understand what we're looking at here. The first thing is the HF itself, which is the head loss due to friction. Um, its units uh, are uh, feet or meters, depending on whether you're in US customary or SI, metric. So next up is L, and that's the length of the pipe. Which would be, again, feet or meters. And again, you have no choice in this equation about using these units. You cannot decide yourself to put in the length of the pipe, say, for example, in miles or kilometers. It is, if you do that, you will get the wrong answer. Okay? There are built in unit conversions here, so you must use the units that I am showing here. Okay, next up is V, which is the velocity. which would be foot per second or meter per second. Again, you can't decide yourself to put in something like foot per minute or meters per minute. Not acceptable. It will not work. You will not get the right answer. Next up is a C value. And that's a, what they call a roughness coefficient. I hope my writing is reasonably clear. And <clears throat> it is unitless. It does not have units. Uh, typical values, if you're talking about PVC, which is a very common pipe material in water distribution systems, then you're saying a C value may be of 140, 150. If you're talking about concrete, then that would be uh, that would be somewhat lower. So, so, so for example, you may have a C value of 110, 120, maybe even 100. So in that range. Next up is K, which is a unit conversion, which is a constant. And if you're in, maybe we can write that a little better. Conversion. And if you are in US, then it is equal to 1.3 US customer units. And if you are in SI, then it is 0.85. Now, the final one we have to look at is R, which is called the hydraulic radius. Now, before I give you the units, I want to define the hydraulic radius. 
the hydraulic radius or is defined as the cross-sectional area of flow divided by the wetted perimeter often written P or PW now <clears throat> if I have a pipe flowing full so for example here's a pipe circular pipe circular pipe flowing full watch the area of flow is simply the area of the cross-section which is the area of a circle so we have pi r squared on top now the wetted perimeter is simply as you're indicating here is the outside of the pipe here and that would be the circumference of the same circle so it would be 2 pi r now when you cancel these various various parameters you get r all over 2 which is the equivalent of d all over 4 so it's the diameter divided by 4 or the radius divided by 2 so the units of the hydraulic radius are feet or meters now this is important to remember so if we have a pipe flowing full of water circular pipe flowing full of water then the hydraulic radius is d all over four we must remember that d all over four it makes life very very easy if it was open channel flow that is it wasn't full pipe flow so the pipe is partially full then calculating the hydraulic radius is far more difficult and it no longer is d all over four but for a full pipe it is d all over four okay now the best thing to do now is to take a simple example and run through the calculations okay here's the scenario i'm going to set up and this is the one that we have used uh, in the introduction to bernoulli's equation parts two three and four so i have a horizontal pipe I've shown the direction of flow and what I, what I want to do is I want to calculate the friction that will occur in that pipe going from A to B the water going from A to B what is the friction loss in that pipe so again let's write our equation HF the, the head loss due to friction in that pipe is going to be L times V K C or the power 0 0.63 all to the power of 0 1 over 0 0.54 now the first thing I want to do is I have I have the flow rate it's 2.5 cubic feet per second okay but I need the velocity so I'm just going to do a quick calculation here remember v is equal to q divided by a well q is 2.5 cubic feet per second a is pi r squared now the diameter is half a foot right so the radius is a quarter of a foot So we have 2.5 divided by pi divided by 0.25 squared. And you get a velocity of 12.73 feet per second. Okay, what else do we have here? We have L. Yep, we were given L in feet. There it is. We now have V. We just calculated V. K, well, let's see. K is a constant, and for US customer units, it's 1.32. So we have K. We have C. We know that it's a PVC pipe, so C, the C value, the roughness coefficient, is 150. And you, you'll either be given that in the problem, or... Um, 
you can look it up online and find it out. Finally, you have the hydraulic radius. Now remember, for a full pipe, the hydraulic radius is D all over 4. Well, D is 0 0.5 of a foot. And you divide it by 4, and you get 0 0.125 feet. So we have or now the hydraulic radius. So we can put everything in. So we have 100 feet by V. V is 12.73 feet per second. C that's K. K is a constant, 1.32 for U.S. customer units. C is 150. We're given that. Or we calculated the hydraulic radius, 0.125 of a foot. And then it's to the power of 0.63 all over 0.54. Now, I appreciate the fact that all that calculation can be done in one step in your calculator. I realize that. But my advice is, to just do this calculation first and then finish it off. You're less likely to make a mistake. Okay, so when you do that calculation, you get Zero point two three eight three. And when you finish the problem, I hope that you get seven point zero two feet approximately. And this represents the head loss due to friction. So <clears throat> the head loss due to friction in this pipe going from A to B at this flow rate with that length, with that diameter and that roughness is 7.02 feet. Now, if I wanted to calculate, that's the head loss due to friction, but the pressure drop due to friction, then, as we showed earlier, we would use the following equation, following equation. Pressure is equal to the specific weight of water, because we're dealing with water, times H. And in this case, we can say HF, because it's going to be this friction head. So, that's 7.02 feet multiplied by 62.4 pounds per foot cubed. Now that's going to give me pounds pounds per foot squared, right? Which is correct, which is a force per unit area, but I want it in pounds per inch squared. And so what I get then is approximately, approximately 3.03 PSI. So we went from pressure head to pressure. Again, this would be the pressure drop due to friction. This would be the head loss due to friction. Same thing expressed in two different ways. That's all. So again, if you found this helpful, let me know. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, and let me know in the comment section if there's any other topic or any other topics that you would like me to cover. Okay, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.